All right, we're on our uh, we're on our mahi mahi. We got some good heat going on there. Um, I'm gonna take a look at the fish. Whoop, whoop. To see how the cross hatches are working. We're just gonna keep leaving it there. It's not that hot yet. All right, we're just gonna let her go. Get serious heat working on it. It shouldn't take too long. Everything else will be done by the time this is done. So, um, oh, I'm not even pointing at it. <laughs> Where's the heat coming up? It's probably because the bottom's so Oh, there it goes. It's starting to sizzle. You can hear it now. Yeah, and it's about one third of the way. We can see it over here. It's about one third of the way cooked on the edges. All right. Oh, you can see our, our sauce starting to caramelize and bubble down below. Okay. So, a little bump to the coals. And um, see how, how the coal shifted a little bit when I banged on the side? They opened up the zone of heat. All right, that's where we are. So um, so I wanted to tell you another story, right? This is going to be in my book, right? So um, me and Ronnie Hutchinson <laughs> were 11 years old, right? We lived over by this place called Langley Park. And Langley Park um, was our like our stomping ground, you know, it had Safeway, we were we turned our cans where we go and get snacks, it had the places where the game rooms were, it had a back alley that had like shoe place and you could only find one shoe, in all the boxes that you only find one shoe because they were all display shoes, and they throw them out back, right, you could never find a pair, <laughs> and they had this, they had this tractor trailer, right, with a ladder on it, right, <laughs> and it was right next to the building. Close enough so an 11 year old boy <laughs> who wanted to get on the roof could just jump over, grab, kick with his feet, and drag himself up onto the roof, right? So that's what we did, right? Me and Ronnie, and this was our second time doing it, I think, right? Or was it a first? I don't remember. So we're just walking around, and we're looking over the edge, right? And looking at people down there, and we're like looking around Langley Park, right? You know? And we, we're like, okay, time to go. And I found a screwdriver, and I'm walking along with a screwdriver, right? And we get to the edge, and there's like six cop cars, right? And they pull their guns and say, freeze! Two 11-year-old boys are not going to freeze. They are going to haul ass, all right? <laughs> because we had an escape planned. <laughs> Uh, but we went the wrong way and we go down this pole and then the cops are waiting for us on the other side with this pole and they grab us you know and they go and smash us against the cars and they're like what are you guys doing up there breaking in and we're like no we're just looking around and, <laughs> and you know I'm saying just looking around they pull this weird gauge thing that I found I'm a kid right 11 years old and they're like is that a syringe and I'm like oh my god what is with these people alright it's Montgomery County Police right they crazy alright we're gonna flip our fish so, so my buddy, and now whenever you want to do a flip, you want to run with the bars. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now I saved just a little bit of this teriyaki glaze. We're going to put that on the top. And now I'm going to cover it because I want that glaze to uh, kind of cook in. And the, the things are wide open. Actually, I'll leave it like that. All right. That looks crazy, but that should do it. So, so Ronnie and I are like, well, these cops are roughing us up, right, and slamming us against cars. And, and <laughs> Ronnie, he's shooting the truth. He's like, well, why is there a ladder there? <laughs> All right. <laughs> They're like, you're trying to break in? And like broad daylight, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, two 11-year-old kids are trying to break in to through the roof of, of businesses, right? Six cops, cars, guns, everything. I mean, just what the bloody 
right? So they arrest us, take us downtown, and Ronnie's on like, they're like, you think it's a smart thing to do? And he's like, well, do you think it's a smart thing to have a ladder going up to the roof? You know, I mean, it was easy to get up there. What do you expect the kid's going to do? Totally like, so we're talking about this. He called me like two months ago. We haven't talked for 31 years. And we're just cracking up, cracking up. Because he's smashing on the cops. And we get down to the police station. And they throw us in cells. 11 years old. Throw us in cells. Intimidate us. Got us all scared. we in the back like scared. Scared kids, right? Mom and dad show up. His dad my mom show up. I told you about mom. It's in one of my stories. Don't mess with my mom. Don't mess with my mom. She's five feet of dynamite. Don't mess with my mom. Because she went, <laughs> she went into these cops and laid into them. How dare you put them in a cell? Eleven-year-old boys, they're not breaking and entering. What the hell is your problem? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hutchinson, he's six four, right? And he's just like <laughs> looking at my mom, right? Like, <laughs> and all the cops backed up, right? <laughs> So we were taken back home and they kind of laughed about it because it was funny. It was just kids goofing off, man. Six cop cars, guns, two 11 year olds, thrown in jail. Became a criminal at 11. Hardcore, man. I was hardcore. Let's take a look at our fish. And it never ends, man. It never ends. It never ends, man. I'm going to leave the top off. I'm gonna let that cook. Let's go check on our broccoli.